Hey guys, in this video we're going to be modifying the E46 exhaust. So we're going to be trying to cut these cats out, weld straight pipes for them. Obviously it'll be for that when it's done. Uh, the main thing, them cats are worth £600 and that'll go nicely towards the fabrication money for this thing. So, let's get to it. It's a wider part here and it thins. So I'm gonna try and cut it around there on the thinner part. Plan is, cut one of these out first. Obviously with a disc, you can only cut so far around them. The last bit, hacksaw. And then by not cutting the both of them, I'm hoping to make this section tack or weld that partially then I can cut this out and I it should keep the same shape for me that's the plan Another battery. we're gonna get our hacksaw you can see that that is almost off Ugh. It might be worth me tacking a bit here because it, it is actually twisting about a bit on this little bit of metal. Gonna clean this up, tack it somewhere over there, and then even with this section removed, this shouldn't twist like it does. Of this now. Right, it's not the cleanest, but 
it will serve a purpose. So, I'm going to fire up the welder. I'm going to tack this up. a bit of flex but it shouldn't move too much now with cutting this. Oh, there's an outstanding weld. Straight off. There's the cat, I don't know if you can see in there. See, it's a bit dark. If you can see honeycomb type of stuff. So that's one note. Right, I'm going to try and re that because that's obviously not held. Pieces now. Try and recreate this. Alright, guys. So this is what I bought. Picked up these pre bends off eBay. Uh, the size of this, it, I think, with a bit of shaving on there, this would almost almost hammer onto this side. But this side is quite a bit bigger than that so I'm not sure I might just literally try and butt them up and weld it or I might even slip it hammer it in and then fill that with weld obviously in regards to flow and the rest of it it, it wouldn't be the not the, the most ideal but in regards to it just serving a purpose um, and obviously it's just a bit of fun for me, a bit of practicing, then I don't mind too much. So, and this is the other, just a straight length, obviously it's, it's more than I need. So the plan is, see if I can shave this down a bit, hammer, to be able to hammer that on, and then attempt to weld that to there, but obviously as you can as you can see the angles off so it's not going to be perfectly butted up but uh, I think I'm going to have to cut that angle off there for it to meet so it's going to be a bit skew with but not too good. Right, I'm going to grind that down first and see if we can get this to slide over there. Just it's it's 
hold in that. So we're putting that real work on a bit, and that's enough of an overlap just to get some wells around there, which is good. And twist that on a bit, and I'll do. So then, when I attempt to cut this in, we can try work this out. So, right, just going to get something to mark this. We'll try and cut that angle first, and then it should just be a case of marking that chop. I can hopefully weld this outside, you know outside of the exhaust and then we can try and wind it on. Oh, right then. Got a pencil. So rough. Maybe a rough angle is gonna be. see it's pretty I don't know if you can see that it's very faint but that's the angle that we need so I don't really know a good way yet of, of marking marking these obviously if you watch uh, people who actually know what they're doing other than me having a go there's, you could clamp that in to, I can't remember what they're called, it's like a gravity band saw, so it'll just, as it falls, it'll just chop that perfectly if all you're going to do is, is level it in. So yeah, I haven't got that gear yet, there's things I'd like to pick up. As they come along, I'll pick up more gear to make little jobs like this a lot easier. So, going to cut this now with the grinder as straight as I can and then we'll offer it back up again hopefully it'll be just cutting it to length and we'll go from there let's have a go Somewhat, somewhat flat, it's not too bad. And angle wise, we're surprisingly looking pretty good. That's our line where we need to cut, so we'll need a tiny bit, mark an X. Obviously I'll be cutting that off, not that I could confuse it because of the size of that. So, little trick, some marks there, little trick to get a perfect circle, well, near perfect circle around there, is we'll get, get a zip tie. Bit around here. Typical is grey, it's harder to see. And then that should be pretty much bang on. So that's my 
pencil's gone now. The mark around here. It's a nice easy way then. You can slide him off. And then you should have a pretty even mark all the way around. this that's going to be butting up which has already been ground off so it's clean anyway I'm not actually going to be weld in to that part it's more of a butt but weld uh, that side as I said is going to be head on and we should have Just that a touch, but nothing all right. That looks a tad short, so it might end up. That. But other than that, fitment-wise, that's that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So I'll go ahead and clean these. Itself, put a couple of tacks here, a couple of tacks there. And I'm gonna try and, and weld as much of this as I can without blowing any holes. murder me in the comments too much don't ask what that is but it's not too bad mm. all the slugs <laughs> there's no gaps in it so maybe a tiny one there I'll redo that, but other than that, 
I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. think the neighbours will be too amused if I continue grinding and chopping stuff up. So I'm going to call it a night, come back tomorrow and uh, smash out the other side and then obviously that will enable me to sell the cats, get a bit of funding together before the S15 goes up the Huxleys. So it's going up there provisionally uh, the 6th of December. Fingers crossed, providing transport and I can get things like that sorted. I'll catch you tomorrow. So hey guys, as you can see, cut the other cat out now. There's, I managed to get all the way around there. There's a tiny bit there, about 10 centimetres, about the same this side. So I'm going to weld these two up. Then I'll show you the finished thing after I get the other side in. That's that bit done. this from the angle a bit here they're already cleaned up so I'm gonna tack these in weld it up and then I'll, I'll show you the finished product hey guys so that's it it's all done once again don't murder me in the comments but that's it I won't go too close but <laughs> you can see various mess on it but uh, other than that I'm happy with that so I can sell those cats now to go towards this money pit uh, quite happy with that it's my first time welding an actual exhaust I know I've welded them on that where are they there just but it, I was literally just tacking the tips which is a bit different from completely around, you know, because I don't want any exhaust leaks on that, because so you lose power. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. By by all means, there's room for improvement, quite a lot. But in regards to it serving a purpose, I should do fine. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.